So we are given a Korean. It is two meter long, one meter wide, and one meter deep. So you can see here's the picture, two meters long, one meter deep, and one meter wide. And this is full of water first. And we would like to find out the word that we need in order to pump out half of the water from this aquarium. And of course, we cannot pump out the bottom half without pumping on the first half. So this question is pretty much asking us if this is full of water and we would like to know what's the word that we need in order to pump out the top half of the water, okay? So what is work? Work is force times distance. And in this situation, to find out the force is just pretty much the weight, okay? And then for the weight, it's pretty much volume times the density. And then you just have to pay attention to the units that we're using. If you're using the meters, then we have to multiply by the density of the water, which is 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. And then we also have to multiply by 9.8 for the gravity. If we are using feet, and we just need to multiply by 62.5. By this situation, we'll focus on 1,000 and then the 9.8. So for the volume, this is how we are going to do it. And we'll just focus on the top half. And the deal is, let's draw a rectangle and then just cut a horizontal slice first. And in this case, we get a perfectly you know, rectangular slice because the Korean is rectangular in the first place. So you can see this is pretty much the picture that I'm drawing. It's not the best picture. But then, what's the shape of this slice that we just draw? It looks like a phone, right? Because it's rectangular. So as you can see, this right here, it's pretty much the slice that we're talking about. And the goal is, we will have to write an expression for the volume of this slice of um, the water. So first, do we know what's this measurement? So the front part right here. This part, we know it's equal to one meter and that's really nice because it never changes, right? It's always one meter. It never changes. How about how long is this? Well, it's this long, right? It's this long, which is two meters long. So this right here is two. And how about the thickness? This is just a small change amount in the y-axis because it's a vertical change, right? Just a small change amount in the y-axis. I will just label that as dy. So just look at this and then call that to be dy. And now we are ready to write the expression for its volume. A volume for this rectangular box is just uh, 1 times 2 times dy. That's it, right? Length times width times height. So I will just put this down for the volume 1 times 2 times dy. And then in the meantime, I'll build up my integral. So I'm using dy and then I'll put the dy all the way at the end. So that takes care of the volume of that slice. And then the next thing is the density. And the density of the business, the density business is once again the things I mentioned. We just need to multiply by 1000, okay, for the water density, and that's a mass density. And we also have to multiply by 9.8 for the gravity because one meter. All right, that takes care of the force. And now we have to figure out the distance. And for the distance, it's usually based on our labeling most of the time. And the idea is, this is the slice of water that we are talking about. How far do I have to travel from here up to the top in order to pump out this amount of water, this slice of water, based on labeling? And in this case, it doesn't really matter how you label it because um, it's, it doesn't have a lot of restriction because this is constant, that's also constant. So it's pretty straightforward. If you would like, I will show you, we can label this as y from this distance as y. You can do it like that. And let me put that down right here. If you label this amount of distance is y, where you take this is y is equal to zero. That will be the distance. And I'll just put down, we multiply by y for the distance. And I'll put on this right here in black actually. This much right here is y. This right here represents the work that we need in order to pump out this slice of water. The distance that we travel is just y. And now we have to do a lot of this, and that's the integration part. We will integrate the first y value is technically zero, right? Because that's the surface, we picked that to be zero at the first place. So we pick this to be zero, and then we just want to go halfway. 
So this right here is halfway, half of what? Halfway of one meter, which is 0 0.5 for the y. So you'll be just going from 0 to 0 0.5. And this right here will give you the work. Okay? And if you compute this integral, this right here will give you 2450. And this is in the SI unit, so we use Joule. If you would like, let me just mention this briefly. If you put the reference frame down here, okay, if you put the reference frame down here, so this is more like right in the middle and things like that. And you can call this is x, this is y, and you can set up the integral this way. The volume, the red part will stay the same. I will still have the uh, one, point, 1 times 2 times dy for the volume of this box, small box, slice of the water. And then you multiply by 1000, water density, mass density of the water, and then 9.8 for the gravity. But in this case, what's the distance that we have to multiply? I'm looking at the blue part, okay? Based on this reference frame, from here to here, well, actually, I should look at it from here to here. This is the y distance. This slice, it's y distance, y distance above the x-axis. So this much is y. And that will give us, this will be what? The whole thing is equal to 1. This little part right here will be just whole thing, which is 1, minus this much, which is y. 1 minus y for this right here. And that will be the distance that we have to use based on that labeling, 1 minus y. How about the integration? Well, based on this, the first slice of water happens right here because we just want to go halfway. And this will give us y is equal to 0 0.5. Right, this right here is y is equal to 0 0.5. And then the last one is going to be up here. And based on that labeling, this is going from 0 0.5 to 1. And this will also give you the work. If you compute this integral, the answer to this is also going to be 2450 joule. Depends on whichever labeling that you like. That's it.